What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm of course CM Puma wherever you may be and however you may be watching. Thank you for making this video a part of your day. Now in the last one we had some serious issues. We faced uh, Aiden English in a matchup where we needed to get four stars so we could get up the company man ladder which we did. You can now receive an in-ring buff by talking to Vince McMahon before a match. That is exactly what we wanted to do. The next one allows us to have access to all female managers and then number five allows us to have access to clothing options tied to corporate superstars kane mr mcmahon orton chain william rieger smojo triple h that's pretty neat you can interrupt a superstars promo or interview when not engaged in a storyline all managers you can change the card you can have a mid-match run-in where your tag Partner or stable mate hits a finisher. Oof. Ooh. That is awesome. And now you can earn double VC for matches. You can also request a title match or rematch. That is where we need to be. Right there. Double VC. Hell yeah. Uh, this allows you to get match buffs after doing a promo. And it looks like... Oh. Move sets is number five. That one might be worth getting. Fan favorite moveset, technician moveset, backstage legends, legendary threads, learning from the... Oh, man, maybe we should have done fan favorite. All right, it's okay. We're on our way to company, man. Take a look at the champions. They're still the same, it looks like. United States is Jericho. We got AJ on SmackDown and Samoa Joe on Raw. And the club and the Usos. All right, so... Um, I went in and tweaked a few things in our in our stats. We're still in overall 68 ish. Anyway, in the last video, we faced Aiden English. We got our four stars. We moved up to company man number three. And then we decided to get into a backstage brawl with Big Trouble, who is humongous. And he threw us into one of the boxes and we got stuck. We had to restart it. So. There was that. That took up the whole freaking video. It was just too long of that nonsense. So here we go in this match card. We got a two-on-two -two tag team. The team of CM Puma and Randy Orton were still on that. Taking on Chad Gable and Luke Harper. Before we do that... Ugh, sorry, I just yawned. Let's see what's going on backstage. Uh, yep. Thanks for your thanks for that. And can we can I just punch him? Doesn't look like it. All right, we've already done a backstage brawl, so it doesn't look like we can do much of anything else. And we know Rusev is going to be a company man. Okay. Just weird. All right, it's all weird. Let's go look at the match card and we'll start our tag team match up here against Luke Harper and Chad Gable for some strange reason. Look at your boys coming in. That means we are a team. We might have to make a change to that, I think. Puma and the Viper coming in. That is a weird, uh, that's a weird thing. We might have to make a change to that. All right, Randy's pumped. Gable's pumped. And you know your boy seeing Puma's pumped. Let's do it. We're going to start this off with a big shot. Uh. Nice. That's what I'm like. Oh, he moved. He moved. Oh, when we got kicked. Oh, my goodness. He's getting all tactical on us. And no. So, a uh, couple of things we did was update our agility, I think. We'll have to go back and look. Oh, can we see it from here? No, we can't see our attributes. All right. I think we... Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we did pin combo level 2, and I think we upped diving combo to level 2. So, I wanted to see if Puma's finishing move, that pop-up cutter, had a diving combination. I don't remember if it did or not um, when I assigned it to him, but we'll see. Uh-oh. 
Luke Harper has been a terror. Big double hip toss. And, in the tag team ranks. and now Lukey Dukey is beating on us a little bit. The ring is frightening. Uh, no. How do I have... Oh, I've got the in-ring buff. So, before the last video ended, we went and talked to Vince McMahon. So, that is level three of Company Man. It allows us a buff of a couple of different things. Um, our momentum moves faster. Our stamina uh, doesn't decrease as much. Stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. We're going to let Randy in here. Or not. Oh, into a neck breaker. That is evil. This man who borders on insane wants to Oh gosh, we just barely got him. We just barely got him. Come on. Puma, get up. We're going to drag Luke Harper up. And we're going to bust his ass. We're going to bust his head in. Depending on who it is. Brain buster. Dropping Luke on his head. Nice. Moonsault there. What's Puma do? We're going to go outside. And, oh, dropping the elbow. And Puma is, now has a signature. And we're just going to get him up. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's all tied up in us. And we got there just in time. Good grief. Boom. Kick to the side of the head. And with that, we are going to... Well... I was going to get away from me. I was going to tag in Randy, do a tag team move, but I guess not. So how do I? Nope. Okay. I still don't know how to just grab him. Dude, you're supposed to stay in the corner, but catch a kick to the face anyway. All right. Get into the corner. It's time. Double T. Come on, man. Luke, what's your problem? Uh-oh. He's going to try to get us. No. Not before we get him. Shot to the stomach. Oh, my gosh. Dude. Up and over. Jumping back in and an elbow to the face of Harper. And there we go. We're going to send him in. Again? Come on, Harper. He just grabbed me by the back of the neck. Uh-oh. Oh, man, you jerk. Maybe the controls will show us how to do that. Carry? No. Dragging. R1 and R2... Okay, that's exactly what I needed to know. And we're going to drop him down. There we go. Oh, and a reversal. Uh-oh. Shoot. Too late, and he drops us right on our face. And he doesn't go for the pin or go for the finisher or anything. He just starts trying to attack us like a wild man with the top knot. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Too late. What are we doing here? All I'm trying to do is get freaking Randy Orton in. Uh. Criminy. Too late on that. And he's going to drop us face first into the corner. Good lord. Did you see Puma's head? Come on. Can we get there? Oh, my gosh. Thank goodness. Hot tag. And in comes Randy Orton. My, this is one of my favorite things. Look at him. That happens regardless of who comes in. The The opponent uh, will just continue to stand up and take those shots unless reversed. Um, but sometimes you hit them, and they look surprised like, what's happening? What's going on here? And I thought, I think that's just awesome. We're going to recover early and do a taunt so we can get out of the uh, the funk. There we go. Can we go around? Yeah, we can. Come on, guys. Let's get fired up for Randy Orton here as he gets reversed. 
We're gonna let him. We're gonna let him battle it out, though. He's the one. He's got the most health. So I think we're gonna let him have at it. Stomping on the arm, Chad Gable. I'm sorry, guys, if there's some pauses. It's uh, most likely me yawning, cause I don't. Uh, I don't get home from work till about 6:30, 7 o'clock, and then I eat dinner and we mess around with the kids. Get them bathed and get them in bed and all that. And uh, then I try to do a couple of videos after everybody's sleeping. But my goodness, it's midnight right now. Look at Randy, nice move there. So, but you guys see this at 4 p.m. the next day. Oh, I'm a tired old man. Dropped on his head is randy and he, oh man he's he's got no reversals randy um i guess that's not really gonna work is it i can't really do nothing to you can i oh oh my goodness oh i just flipped it oh and then get kicked in the face oh too late and we just get blasted by luke and we have to roll out of the ring. Shoot. That can't be good. Elbow drop from Chad Gable. Luke Harper now. He's going to wake us up. Thank you, Luke. Oh, man. Gator roll. Gator roll. And then, oh, man. Our neck is all crooked. Get him, Randy. Stomp him out. Stomp him out. Puma, we need to get up, bro. We need to get up. I know, Randy. I'm sorry. I'm not over there. I'm not over there. I tried to come and help, and I just made a mess. Nice reversal. And Randy, what is this? What a submission to Chad Gable. My gosh. Oh, and he gets out of it. Man, what kind of crazy nonsense is that? Okay. I, good Lord. Put him down. Here we go, here we go. All right, I'm back up here, Randy. I'm back up, my bad, my bad. DDT to Chad Gable. Holy cow, and I'm gonna let you go in for that RKO, my friend. Yes, I am. Oh man, I thought he reversed it. Taking him out. Woo! Randy Orton and CM Puma get the victory. We need a team name. That is for sure. But we also need a team entrance, and I'll work on that. You know, not recording, because that could take a while. All right. The Viper and the Puma get the victory at SmackDown in a random tag match. All right. All right. We're going to go talk to the parking lot attendant. I think we talked to Rusev in the last video and he said something about people talking trash or you know that same old thing so let's go see uh let's finish this out we'll come back and i'm pretty sure we're gonna cut a promo monthly pay-per-view of may what's the pay-per-view we're at oh my gosh extreme rules noam dar that's who we're gonna have an issue with right now t-shirt sales down 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 you can only get 80 Man, I hope the patch does something with these freaking attribute points. We we just don't get enough, not attribute points, VC. We just don't get enough VC. Here at Extreme Rolls, Renee is not in the back, so we are not going to be doing a, um interview with her. Becky, what do you got to say? Nobody respects me. I do everything right, and what do I get in return? Nothing. Enough is enough. Well, just grab a chair and start wailing on folks. I mean, that seems most logical. All right. If you want to make it in this business, give it all, go home. Yeah, okay. Anybody in this locker room? There's always somebody in the other locker room. Never anybody in this locker room. I don't know why I even try. Who else is down here? Are you just walking in circles? Cassius, we've had our battles. I'm getting goosebumps. I know you'll shine bright. All right. Um, if Vince is in here, we need to take. 
shoot. All right, well, we can't talk to Vince. We do get a buff talking to Vince, but it doesn't look like uh, it's going to make a difference. Oh, let me take, let me show you guys what we did in skills. Uh, nope. Um, attributes. So, what do we do? We maxed out stamina. So, it, uh, quick, it affects quickly. Your superstar stamina decreases. It also increases the speed of stamina, stamina recovery. It also increases the rate at which momentum is earned. And I want to say athleticism, turnbuckle speed. Um, I think that's right. And, oh, we have, we, no, power was already done. So we did um, athleticism, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, and we bought some stuff. We did some stuff. Entrance. Um, I think that's it. Yep. Oh, I can turn off the show intro from here. Let's do that. Jeez. All right. So let's head over and talk to Todd. Get into this promo battle with Noam Dar or fight him. I think I would just rather fight him. I mean, we are at the pay-per-view, for crying out loud. Who's in here? Any authority members in here? No. How weird. It's the pay-per-view, guys. Always somebody in this locker room. Baron Corbin. We will not be chatting with Mr. Corbin. Todd? How are you holding up? Take a look at the match card. All right. Win the promo. So we got a promo against Noam Dar. He's going to call us out, apparently. R-Truth and John Cena. No holds barred. Bo Dallas versus Cedric Alexander. Geez. Tables match. Darren Young and KO. Goldust and the Big Show. Gallo. Oh, for the tag titles. The Bar versus the Club. Look at this. Is Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised we actually haven't seen that yet. Dean Ambrose and Samoa Joe in a last man standing match for the Universal title. I'm pretty sure Dean Ambrose is still our Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, he is. And why are Why are we on this? We're not at we're not on Raw. I mean, unless we're just coming over here to talk smack with Noam, but let's do it. Either way, get in the ring, Noam. Let's see what you got to say here. Oh, I, jeez. I skipped it. Sorry. Look, I know I got a lot of swagger, and I got a lot of, bit, lot of it because I earned it. On the streets and in the ring. Well, there's a guy back there that hasn't earned it. And I'm not, I'm not about to let that stand. On the streets, Noam? Seriously? The streets? I'm going to settle this once and for all. CM Puma, get your ass out here. So I can show you in management that I'm the one that deserves everything you have. Well, Noam, I don't have anything, to be honest. I have my tag team partner, Randy Orton. Get that damn camera out of my face. All right, let's see. Okay, that's... Uh, you talk a lot. You talk about a lot. You talk about what you want. You talk about what when you want it. You talk about what you think needs to be fixed. And you think about... Jeez, and what you think you'll do about it. The only thing you do, don't talk about is the only thing that you need to worry about is me, you punk ass. What, do, what, do, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Based on popular past performances, I'm absolutely certain my fans are going to want to see me steamroll you. Can you hear them now? I think they want me to start on you already. It's tempting, but I realize there's a time and a place for these types of things, and then that's not now when I was trying to talk to them. You called me, doofus. All right, you remind me of a Max dog. These people want to see you put in. You're a turd with a microphone. Nice. I keep hearing all this talk about a superstar on the rise. People come up to me and say, hey, this guy's really making waves. And then I come out here, and all, and all I see is a turd with a microphone. That's the name of the episode right there. Turd with a microphone. That's the name of my band. The, this boy doesn't seem to understand who I am. I'm a superstar. Can you say that? Super star. No, I'm dar. You got some, you got some attitude. I, I, you see, this is a ring. This is where us larger-than-life athletes battle against each other. It's a professional sport for adults, not little people who don't belong. He just made fun of midgets. I don't know what else he said. Um, I think you're afraid. Are you courageous or stupid? This one's blank. We'll just do that one. 
Okay. You know what I think? I think you're afraid. I think you're all you're all talk is jeez, I can't. It's late. I think all your talk is an attempt to distract people from it. It's a mask. Not like seeing Puma's sweet ass mask. You wear because you don't want people to see the fear on your face, but I see it and I smell it. And you have every reason to be afraid and something else and something else. Whoa. I think we're still good. Oh, you want to fight? Now you're speaking my language. Tell you what, why don't we do it big? Why don't we fight at the pay-per-view? I think we're at the pay-per-view? Once and for all, we'll put everything we've got on the line for the whole world to see. Be careful about your next steps. You're a big-headed idiot. Let's try that one because he's a turd with a microphone. Whoa. Hey, it's you. I've heard about you. Yeah, you're famous. Give it up, WD Universe, for the amazing, walking, talking, big-headed idiot. That didn't even make any sense. Shut up. All of you can shut up now. Listen, you call me a big-headed idiot or anything else one more time, and I'm going to put you down right here, right now. Last word. Um, get ready for the fight of your life. Boom! If you want to fight, then get ready for the fight of your life because I'm going to bring absolutely everything I've, hot, I've got. Jeez. I'm going to use everything, including the chick kitchen sink. Maybe even literally. Hell, bring all the weapons you want. Nothing will be enough to beat me, and I'm an unstoppable juggernaut beast. We're going to have an Extreme Rules match with Noam Dar? Ooh, 194. My gosh. Put a stomping on that dude. Okay, we're going to go to the parking lot attendant. Look at Rusev. My word. The look on his face when your music hit tonight, he just had no idea what was about to happen. And you absolutely got him spinning. With what you had to say. I gotta say that felt good. Noam Dar come out. He talked a lot of trash. Seeing Puma shut that mess up in a heartbeat. Everyone had to take notice tonight. And you won't be ignored anymore. Well, thanks for the suggestion. It paid off. And we get 40 influence. And it doesn't look like we've moved up. Let's see. I mean, well, I mean, we did move up, but not by much. 340. So we need about 160 more Oh, man. That's four more things to get into with other people. Four more things. Nobody in here. Oh, oh, oh. Epico, my man, what you got to say? Primo, sorry. Your left arm looks deflated. What if I... What if... It won't let me fight him. It won't let me fight him. All right, let's get to the parking lot because I, I don't know why. Maybe we're just going to run and grab something to eat. Or just take our dry cleaning or something? I don't know, because he wanted to have fight at the pay-per-view. Well, let's see what happens. Week 1 of June. Oh, there's Triple H. Nice hustle the last few weeks. Triple H, hey, appreciate that, man. I appreciate that sweet beard you got going on. Too bad I can't have one under this mask because of some weird-ass restrictions anyway. I could tell you were stressed out for a while there, but you took off like a bullet. Oh, man, he was fired up about that. Only did what I had to do. That's all we can ever do, huh? Anyways, pretty big month. Over the next weeks, we're planning to decide who is going to be in the Money in the Bank match. I've been looking forward to this milestone. You and an army of superstars. I'm telling all the other guys the same thing, and I'm telling you now. Every show this week is crucial in deciding who will be in that match. Dialing it up to 11, every match is big to me. Here to make the company happy. That's right. You know as much as I do that I serve you know as much as I do that I serve at the pleasure of the company. We want whoever is the cream of the crop, like the man said. The macho man, that's what he's talking about. For the business, for you, for Vince, I'm willing to rise up. Goes without saying. Be on the top of your game all month. Understand? I won't let you guys down, Triple H. I won't do it. I won't do it. Alright. Hey man, that's awesome. We're going to talk to Shane McMahon because he's the company man and that's the route we want to go. Shane O'Mac, what's up, homie? Hey, how's it going? Not bad, Shane, not bad. Great, especially after how busy last month was for you. Yeah, it was a pretty crazy pretty crazy month, but we ended it well after uh, putting Noam Dar in his place. Now, anything I can do for you? Well, I want in on that Money in the Bank match. Wow. Okay, interesting. You acted... You know, I'm going to ask about that. You're a great talent here on SmackDown. I mean that. But I don't think you're ready yet. So keep working at it and you'll get your chance. What? 
I'm going to have to insist. I'm sorry, but it's not going to work out. I can do this, but I need you to give me the chance. Look, you're really close, but you're not there yet. All, all of this isn't what you want to hear. I'm sympathetic to that. I don't think you are. Put me in the match, Shane. Saying I don't think you're ready isn't an indictment. It's a matter of degrees. You'll get there. I know it. Be patient, and I'll let you know when it's time, and I'll be waiting. Ugh. Shane O'Mac, my man. I don't appreciate it. All right, what does that say with AJ Styles? That says, speak with AJ Styles. We can speak with Mr. Styles. Oh, just coming right out of the gate, are you? Word is that you had a talk with Shane that didn't go so well. Yeah, you were, you were eavesdropping, AJ, right outside the damn door. Faster than you think. Don't look sad, though. I have a proposition for you. He's a fan favorite. Ugh. Take out a few guys that I don't want winning the briefcase, and I'll see that Shane gets you into the money in the bank. Trust me, I have my ways. Done. Apparently, it's a done deal. So what do we got to do? No. No. Um, I don't think we're going to do that in this episode, guys. There's Shinsuke. Oh man, I don't wanna I don't wanna lose my bestie. Alright. Let me come over here next to the smack Shit, I broke the TV. Alright, what if we stand by the logo? Come on. There we go. Alright. <laughs> that that is gonna be it, guys. I'm sad to say. But in the next one, we're gonna start off with apparently finding and attacking Randy Orton. I don't wanna lose my tag team bestie. But it looks like that is going to be the way it's going. So tag team titles are not an option, it looks like, when uh, you're in here with my career. So that's a little disappointing, but it is what it is. Um, but we're moving on to bigger and better things. Hopefully the World Heavyweight Championship, which happens to be again, which happens to be owned by AJ, I believe. Yeah. Okay. And I'm guessing um, Dean Ambrose didn't win the... Universal Championship and the bar didn't win the tag title. So, all right, well, that's going to be it. We're going to go in and fix our shirt and maybe some other stuff. Um, but in the next one, we got to find and attack Randy Orton. Not looking forward to that, but we got to do what we got to do to reach the top. So, come on back. We got more of my career, maybe some road to glory for you guys. I'll see you soon.